Bum. What you can see here is a mushroom farm and mushroom compost. Organic waste too good to be thrown away. Here in Ireland, scientists are trying to find out what to do with it next. Thai Holland in Monaghan is home to one of the world's biggest mushroom growers. In the European Union as a whole, one million tonnes of mushrooms are grown each year. The downside to that, one tonne of mushrooms generates three tonnes of compost. Here we actually have a primordia, which is one of the first stages of mushroom cultivation. The second stage would then be these, what we call baby buttons, um, and then they grow until it till they reach this size, and that will be a closed cup mushroom. So this bed has actually been harvested. There's been a number of mushrooms harvested from this bed already, um, and there will be another three days of harvesting from this bed. Used mushroom compost is now the focus of a European research project. The aim of the scientists is to develop a sustainable biorefinery to transform the organic waste into bioproducts. Getting rid of the compost has become a major logistic and economic challenge for the growers. From our perspective, we truly look at the compost as an unloved gem. <laughs> and at the moment, the compost is either disposed in a form of landfill or indeed spread across agricultural land. Um, our desire is to use the compost and to create much higher value applications that are incredibly useful for um, society. Until then, research into the compost is continuing in other European countries. Spain's National Renewable Energy Centre, SENA, is leading the research in a bid to transform the used mushroom compost into fertilizers and biodegradable nano carriers for drugs. The Spanish scientists have already successfully demonstrated that they can produce biopesticides. Since the concentration of sugars in the residue of the mushroom farm is relatively low, we mix it with wheat straw. In this way, we concentrated and increased the sugar content. What we generated is slurry. The sugars obtained through biochemical conversion of mushroom compost, mixed with the wheat straw, are used to manufacture environmentally friendly organic pesticides. With biopesticides, you attack specific species of diseases, whereas with conventional insecticides, you eliminate a large part of insects that are in the field. However, more research is needed before biorefineries capable of producing biopesticides, nanocarriers, and fertilizers can be built for mushroom growers. This is a way to produce products with an added value, which is technically and economically viable, and avoids having to take all this material to a landfill. So there are benefits for all concerned when it comes to the trial which was carried out here. 